this last area is called the uh, this is the asset editor area um, this button right here allows you to go between the notes and the image that's available for the specific version that you have highlighted in the browser down here if there are multiple images which I think I have for okay I think I have that for model um, that's the last one that was selected. There we are. So there are two different images here. You can scroll between them. Or you can choose to see the notes. And that's for each version. Anyway, so that's that's that. And actually, if you wanted to, you could save an image for a specific version of an asset you can save it for every model so that instead when you turn to model that when you select surface for example instead of it being um, related to this version you could have a version of it that's just for the surface if I can do that there's there's nothing here for a puppet for example for for a snowball so you go add image and it brings up this add image UI and this is going to be the list of where the uh, images are that currently exist for this asset. There are none. And this is going to display the current image. You can choose now what kind of, uh, what, what the image is going to be for. We want it to be for LOD1, and we just want to have it for surface. We're not putting a version here for it. And we're going to capture an image. And even though this isn't really it, this is just going to demonstrate what we can do. We'll capture the image. So now it's surface one. So now we go back to to Snowball, and it's on surface. Whatever version of the surface we have, that's going to be the image. But if you go to Puppet, it's not going to be visible because it's not the puppet. I hope that actually made sense to you. Um, but you can have images for the specific component type the component version, or just for the LOD of an asset. And if you choose none of these, it'll just save something for Snowball, for example. So if something doesn't have something doesn't have any other version information, um, but there's there's no images for it, you can save it for that. Add allows you to create a new LOD. So you can create a new LOD, which would be something that you could then use in the Shots menu. There's a spreadsheet, and you can switch between different LODs here. You have to set up a whole different set of models and rigs and puppets and surfaces, but you can make certain... You, you can make uh, scenes lighter for animation, for example, by having an LOD that takes a very heavy character and lightens it up so there's no complex deformers for the animators to have to deal with and wait on. Um, this is how you browse from one version to another. And if you have a new asset, these will default to zero. And um, that's something which I'll show you later on. In these buttons, there are f uh, f six buttons. Edit version will open up the version that is currently selected. So this would ed open up version 2 of model. And we now have the uh, the model for version 2 of the, of the first LOD, LOD1. We can make whatever changes we want to it. And then when we click on commit version, we enter notes. and now it saves a version. Now if we click on notes we see there's our notes it's got the user it has the actual file and version number as well as the um, <coughs> excuse me the um, the time and date stamp and this is for puppets and surfaces down there you have the load work in progress this actually is probably not as crucial as saving a work in progress what you can do is as you uh, are working on an asset component at some point in time, you can choose to save your work, not commit it, but 
save it so you can get back to working on it later. It's a way of if you're making drastic changes and you don't want to lose it, but you're not ready to check it in yet, you can basically click on Save Work in Progress and it saves it. And you will get under, oops, this is from before, you will get in your script editor the uh, file right here as proof that you saved your work in progress in case you're not sure if you did. Because you basically just click on it and you don't see anything happen. Then if you're going to load your work in progress, let's just get a new scene, you click on the load work in progress, it brings up the list of all the works in progress that have been saved before this. We just saved it twice. There's an earlier version. You can get what you want. You can load it by clicking on it, double clicking on it, and that brings it up. So that's the load work in progress, save work in progress is the other way. Um, new asset allows you to create a new asset um, in the, the, the library. It allows you to start to do work on it. It doesn't actually create the asset in terms of the geometry. It, it creates the directory structure for it. So let's, for example, make a new asset. We'll make a new prop and we'll call it um, We'll call it the desk. So now when we go to props, there's desk. But everything is empty. There's nothing, there's no LODs, there's no images, there's no versions of models, for example. So the final option, the final option is the reinitiate button here. And what that will allow you to do essentially is uh, to edit the version you have selected as though this was the initial version of that. Um, for example, if I do an edit version here, it's uh, it's it's a version of Puppet 3. You can see we've already got our uh, we've got our um, surface puppet and model nodes in here and they're all um, they're all done. We've d got all this work done. But now let's say something had happened to the model that made this no longer relevant. We changed the topology, and no matter what what happened, um, you know, if you've gone through, now you need to actually set up another one. You have to basically create a new one from scratch. What you would do is select the component type and hit reinitiate says you are about to start editing the current component type from scratch. Do you want to continue loading? Yes. Your unsaved changes. Yes. Now if you'll notice, all it has here is the surface and model nodes. And these are both the most current and up-to-date. 